All right, so here we are to talk about the unit circle. Now, the unit circle, you really got to get this clear in your head because uh, a lot of complicated stuff comes after the unit circle. So this is a really important step. So what is the unit circle? First of all, it is a circle. You're looking at it right here. It's drawn on a Cartesian plane, like an X and a Y axis. People sort of skip over that bit. And it's called the unit circle because it has a radius of one unit you can see here one unit so now that i've got this um unit circle what we're really interested in is a point on the outside of the circle i'm just going to call it there we go all right there's a point on the outside of the circle let's look at the coordinates of that particular point even though i can i can move it around see i'm moving it moving it around the circle there all right so we can see the coordinates of our dot now if i move it down to here no surprise, the coordinates are 1, 0, x equals 1, y equals 0. If I move it up to here, you can see the coordinates there, 0, 1. If I move it around here, and you get the basic idea. You can move that around, and the coordinates of that dot are going to change. Now, what's all this got to do with trigonometry? I'm going to draw a right angled triangle. I'm going to do it by drawing a line down to the x-axis, and then across from the origin to where that point meets the x -axis. And now, obviously, that's going to be a right angle triangle. And so now we can do some trigonometry here, some Sokotoa. Before I do that, I'm going to need an angle. I've got the right angle, but I need one of these angles here. So let's put one of those angles in there. There's our angle now. And I can change that angle, which in turn changes the position of that dot. Okay, we're all set up. Let's do some trig. We're going to start with the cos-trig ratio. So we can say that cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, the theta is the angle there, 52, but I'm not too worried because I can change that all the time. So I'm just going to go with just theta for now. Now, adjacent. What's adjacent? In this right angle triangle, it's the angle next, it's the line next to the angle. The orange line here is my adjacent. Uh, now, the orange line corresponds to the x-coordinate of this dot. You can see that the x-coordinate is 0 0.72. That's the same as this orange line here. So the x-coordinate. And what's the hypotenuse? Well, the hypotenuse is just 1, right? Because it's a unit circle. So now we can say that cos theta is equal to the x-coordinate of the dot. Now, if you stop for a moment, you might think, okay, that's pretty good. What about sine theta? And I think you can probably see where this is going. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is this blue line here. And the blue line corresponds to the y coordinate of my dot. And the hypotenuse is 1. And anything divided by 1 is just itself. So now I can say that sine theta is equal to the y-coordinate of that dot. This is pretty good now. So we can say that coordinates of the dot are equal to cos theta sine theta. And now that I know that, we can sort of, we can sort of show it off here. We can say that cos 40 degrees is equal to 0 0.77, which happens to be the coordinate of that dot, and sine 40 degrees is equal to 0 0.64, which happens to be the coordinate of that dot. Now, um, what does that mean? What, what can we sort of talk about that we've already done before? If I move my angle to 30 degrees, which don't forget is pi on 6, so we're going back to radians now, we can put it in here, as being pi on 6. Get really big in there, pi on 6. And what's that going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be equal to cos of pi on 6, and it's going to be equal to sine of pi on 6. Now, that's equal to uh, root 3 on 2, which is 0 0.87 approximately, and 1 half. Cos of pi on 6 sine of pi on 6. 
Now I can do the same here for other ones as well. So moving to 45 degrees or pi on four like that, we get a new coordinate here. And that, if we move it over here, we can see what it is, but you should already know what it is. Moving to 45, it's 0 0.71, 0 0.61, approximately, that's just rounded. That is cos of pi on 4, which is root 2 on 2, and sine of pi on 4, which is root 2 on 2. And the one that we also know about up here somewhere, pi on 3, making a bit of a mess here. If we move over to pi on 3, let's just move straight to there, which is 60 degrees, we can see 0 0.5, 0 0.87. So the coordinates of the dot at that point are 1 half and root 3 on 2. Okay, so that's what our unit circle is. That's what we can, that's the beginnings of what we're going to use it for. In a future video, we're going to take that dot and we're going to move it all the way around that circle and consider what happens to that dot as we move it around that circle.